just when you thought mashed potatoes couldn't get any better, we're about to give them a fancy makeover that is sure to wow your holiday guests. Hey there, I'm Lennon Brazil and you're watching Evolving Table. Well, we make good food that's also good for you, like these Duchess potatoes. With their soft and pillowy inside and super crispy outside. And if you follow a few very important tips throughout this video, it's actually going to be super simple for you to whip them up. So let's jump straight in and get to cooking. We'll first start with two and a half pounds of potatoes. You want as close to this amount as possible, so make sure you weigh them out before cooking. Also, a waxy potato variety, such as Yukon Gold or Red Potatoes, will give you the creamiest texture. But russet potatoes can be used if that's what you have available. Rinse and scrub the potatoes really well to remove any visible dirt. And then remove the skin from all of the potatoes using a vegetable peeler. Cut out any remaining eyes and slice each potato in half and then into quarters. Add the potatoes to a large pot. Cover with one inch of cold water and toss in a pinch or two of salt. Potatoes soak up a good bit of water while boiling so that extra salt really helps to give them flavor. Turn the heat to high and bring the pot to a boil. Once boiling, reduce the heat to a simmer and cook uncovered for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll know they're ready when they pierce easily with a fork. Transfer the boiled potatoes to a colander and rinse under cold running water until they are cool to the touch. This is really important since we're going to be adding raw eggs to the mix and we don't want our potatoes to cook them. Shake the colander really well to ensure any excess water is completely drained. Now for one of those big tips I was telling you about earlier. In order to pipe the potatoes, you're going to want them to be a pretty smooth consistency but not too smooth. Guys, I learned this the hard way when the first time I thought I was being pretty creative, so I popped the potatoes into a food processor, pureed away, and then I ended up with a runny mess coming out of my piping tip. So the second time around, I decided to just grab my handy old potato masher, mash away, but I ended up with these large clumps clogging up the piping tip. Finally, for round three, I used a potato ricer. Yeah, 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 I know, yet another kitchen gadget. But guys, hear me out. This one is not only going to give you the perfect consistency, but it's also gonna save you a good bit of time. Plus, you can also use it to make some of the best mashed potatoes or even try out some homemade potato gnocchi. So grab a large bowl and rice all of the potatoes into it. Then add four tablespoons of melted butter, two thirds cup of milk, regular milk, half and half, or an unsweetened plant-based milk such as oat milk can be used, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and one eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. Mix until well combined. In a small bowl, whisk together one whole egg and two egg yolks. Add it to the mashed potatoes and stir with a spatula until well combined. Moving on to the fun part, and also another one of my tips that's going to make this process super easy for you. When it comes to piping, it's best if you can use a legitimate setup. You'll need a pastry or piping bag, a large coupler, and a 1M star piping tip. This size is crucial in that it's large enough to easily get the potatoes through, while also being small enough to still get those gorgeous crispy edges. You can find all of this either at your local craft store or even purchase it online. 
I'll be sure to link to the ones that I'm using here today in the description box for you. So go ahead and set up your pastry bag. And pipe the potatoes onto a large baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Leave about half an inch of space between each one. You should end up with 12 that are roughly two and a half inches in width. To give them an even better chance of crisping up in the oven, we'll brush them with one additional tablespoon of melted butter just before baking. Be very careful here so you do not disrupt the edges though. Bake the potatoes in a preheated 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until the edges turn a gorgeous golden brown. Serve them immediately with a sprinkle of fresh herbs such as parsley, rosemary, or thyme. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so, so good. They're so light and airy and fluffy, but you also get that wonderful crispy outside. Mmm, they even have me salivating a little bit. And these are definitely going to be the star of the show at your holiday gathering. So I cannot wait to hear what you think when you make them. Make sure that you leave me a comment and let me know. And if you want a few more impressive recipe ideas, make sure you check out these other holiday worthy dishes. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.